Hey, this is Patrick. Today I'm going to explore how to set up Camera Frustum in Houdini. Camera Frustum is the geometry that describes the angle of view, the extent of the angle when you view into the scene. In Houdini, as usual, there are more than several ways to do the same thing. We can create volumes that represent the Camera Frustum. You can select points and geometry when they fall inside a volume. But there's a certain elegance and simplicity when we can just build a box to visually see things fall inside or outside the viewing area. So the frustum looks something like that and when your camera changes your angle of view, it will follow. And when your camera is animated, it follows along as well. So I've got two guide geometry here. To see the extent of the view, uh, you can see the first column of faces here. So that's the extent of the camera's view. If we turn on now, the frustum, if I just scale it up for a while, you see that it intersects that first row here. So it is an accurate representation of the camera's angle. So now we'll proceed to build this from scratch. Create a geometry node. Okay, begin with the box. Put in a, the template so that we can see where the camera is. We'll put in a point vob that will operate on each of the points of the box. The key thing here that we need to put in is the NDC from NDC. So the principle behind NDC, it stands for Normalized Device Coordinates. Uh, this is a big shout out to Marcus Berkey for your guidance. The NDC maps world space coordinates from 0 to 1 into camera space localized coordinates that describes the frustum bounds. Because it's normalized, it goes from 0 to 1. We are getting this interesting shape here, which is not what we want. That is because our cube in world space, let's take a look at the top view, it goes from negative 1x to positive 1x, negative 1z to positive 1z. Before we pipe the cube into the point vob, we need to conform the box into 0 to 1 in world space. So we're going to put the center of x to 0.5. Okay, so in x-axis, our cube now occupies 0 to 1. Let's do that with the y as well, 0 0.5. Okay, and then uh, go back to the top view again, uh, 0 0.5 in z. So uh, let's see what we get. It is uh, centered along this. Okay. We're going to see the relationship between uh, what we were doing because we were just keying uh, a value in but when it's shifted beyond 0 0.5 you get a uh, skewing and off-center kind of value. So uh, very clearly 0 0.5 denotes the middle of the frustum. The 0 0.5 is the center of the frustum and uh, why it's facing the wrong direction is because in the world space, positive Z is uh, facing behind. So to fix that, we got to do a negative 5 in Z and see what happens to that box now. Before we did negative 5, it was at the back. So now we want to put it to the space in front of the camera. So one thing that I'd like to point out is when we created this function from NDC, it requires a camera path. In my case, because there's only one camera in my scene, Houdini automatically populated it with the name of that camera. If you have multiple cameras or no cameras in your scene, you have to point it at the camera that you desire to show your frustum. Uh, we can now do a, a few things more with this. I now transform it. If I transform it in Z. I can offset it like that and I can also if I want it to be longer and cover a wider depth what I can do is find out the primitive number of the further plane which is primitive 0 you can transform the primitive 0 okay it's a primitive uh, you can you can move just that primitive number in your transform so if you create a frustum rig, you can wire this parameter to a control, which is outside your frustum tool. And then you can control the far 
clip plane so to speak okay or you can use that to control your camera clipping plane the other thing that you can do with this is delete all the other faces and keeping the primitive zero delete non-selected and you would have yourself an image plane a real geometry because in many cases like in Maya you cannot very easily show the frustum and they are just a display overlay they're not real geometry so with this you can do projections very easily and to let it follow wherever your camera goes so that's how we create our camera frustum I hope it helps in your workflow because I know it helps in mine okay see you next time